Hey. It's Friday. You know what that means. It means we type bang CW. Hooray. They're on the screen now. I'm wagging my mouse cursor over it as though you can see that. How's everyone doing? Time to play some Silent Hill 4. We're getting close to the end. Still gonna try for the best ending, but I don't know. This next part is the hardest part to keep Eileen healthy during. So we'll see. Hi, Bad Road. And of course, my lovely wife, Christy. Power wash your grandmother's house today. That's a lot of work. I think it was uh, Square Enix recently published Power Wash Simulator. The latest in a long line of uh, menial task simulator games that are so popular now. Now why is this not coming up on screen? It should be coming up. Hey look, it actually captured it quickly this time too. That's a good sign probably. Oh look, I have control now. Alright, let's do this. So we're gonna head back into the water prison world. Oof. I almost feel like I should pull up a guide for it, because I know it's confusing as shit. But no, we're just gonna push through it. We have a sword. What do we have? No, we're gonna need a lot of bullets. Because this is like the most combat heavy area of the game. We don't need the torch right now. Grab some extra bullets. Should be good for now. Could use the silver bullet. Or I could just hit the ghost with a bat when he appears. I don't have a sort of obedience, do I? So we may be kind of SOL for that. I don't remember where the next one is. Let's look that up real quick. Sword of Obedience Locations. Ah, dropped my keyboard. I'm not even, like, heavily medicated today. I'm just feeling funky. Alright, it's in water prison world after washing the prisoner's shirt, which we'll get to. It's in a second floor room with bottles of black powder. Hey there, Lady Octopus. It sure is Silent Hill 4. Is the hot take that it's actually better than Silent Hill 3 at the very least? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Silent Hill 4 is one of my favorite horror games, and it's actually held up so far. Like, in a general sense, it's held up pretty good. Yo, please don't use that word in our chat. That's not a... Uh... The origin of that word is very much from a place that we'd rather not work with. Work around. No worries. Alright. Yeah, that is a... Uh... A word I'm not allowed to say on Twitch anymore, but a, a branch of MRAs. Uh, 
Um, it starts with an I. <laughs> it frustrates me that people like that always seem to get their word into the popular internet lexicon. Here's just a candle. Can't use this candle to break any curses because it's made of blood. Hey, look. Look, we've seen this symbol before. Like the whole thing? It's the Silent Hill symbol. All right. There's an outline from some kind of heavy bottle here. It's locked. There's a round depression about 10 inches wide here. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? We just happen to have something round and about 10 inches wide. Oops, it's not letting me use it. There we go. Penis joke. Yeah, I resisted. I'm glad someone got there. There appears to be a sheep here. So this is something that I never noticed before, which may be because I played a ro low resolution on a CRT television. But there's just a sheep here. This is just horrible. Like, that's not even like a dead bloody sheep or anything. That's just a regular sheep. An alpaca? Are you sure? I think it's a sheep. I think it's a big woolly sheep. I'm glad we have some friend in this world. It could be an alpaca, but I think it's a sheep. <laughs> It is a very tall sheep. Don't go too fast. So we've already done our apartment stuff, so we're just going to continue on. Oh yeah, sheep are large. Like the size of an exceptionally large dog. This person's just having fun, huh? Alrighty then. How about sheep are larger than you expect, but smaller than they look? Murdering all those dudes would be tiring. I just need a baby sword for basic staff. So, this is something that most people don't think to do, but this is a detail that I remember from, like, my second or third playthrough. That's what happens when you try to bring up the map here. It just makes a sound. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. I remember that this is much easier if you leave Eileen behind. At the same time, then you have to actually know what you're doing. Because otherwise she starts taking damage once you're away from her for too long. Also, hi Walter. 
Bye, Walter. <laughs> oh, and we can't use the ladders whatsoever, which is why leaving Eileen behind makes it easier. Yeah, that was some that was some Dark Souls AI shit right there. Moth Bat Raven. Moth Bat Raven. Oh shit. Eileen. Please stop fighting Walter. I need your help over here. Oh my god. likes to fight like Ben Grimm to this map. So I guess we gotta search each of them. Oh, hi. <laughs> Fuck, it's the angry two-headed baby. Everyone's favorite kaiju. What's your favorite theory about this game? Does it involve the angry two-headed baby? Motherfucker. No, we're not fighting those guys. No, fuck the wall guys. There's something written on the paper. Now it will look like I'm sleeping. Huh? Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. Alright, we got a candle. That'll be handy back at the apartment. Yeah, it looks like every one of these doors opens now, which is nice. Might as well check for stuff in them. The town is trying to protect... Just a second, I gotta beat up this angry two-headed baby. And his angry two-headed baby friend, apparently. Dead, yeah, you're dead. Oh, you're both dead, good. The town is trying to protect Henry because he was the victim of a toxic family as a kid because the town's M.O. is to protect abuse victims. It's little hints that his life before moving here was not good. It's very possible he was... Um, one of the uh, original victims of the cult, too. I just like that his body language is schizophrenic, like mine. He has very inappropriate emotional reactions. That's my favorite. That's my favorite of my symptoms. Having Eileen around in any area with Walter is very frustrating. God damn it. Oh. 
you coming? God damn it. Walter. Nah, I'm fucked, huh? I can't see shit either. Yeah, we're just gonna have to start over here. Here, just take me out. Take me out, Walter. the fact that he's absolutely terrified of the doll as well. Although I think it's those things are here. more Walter was always my understanding of it. All right, so I got to figure out how to leave Eileen behind is the problem. I guess I just go down a ladder. Hi, Walter. There we go. Oh no. He's trying to come with me. Sure, but there's lots of things to do with Walter in Henry's room as well. Remember, even his door says, don't go out, signed Walter. I can do this. Alright, can I get the invincible swing off? Yeah. The answer is no. Still managed to get in close enough, though. Fuck that guy. I want to hide, but I can't hide. So basically, we're going to keep going back for Eileen so that the curse doesn't take hold. She can't die, but oh, she can come close. I guess I like it because it feels like people think all of what Silent Hill is is Silent Hill 2, which is a perspective of the town, but it's not the whole story. Absolutely. <laughs> Silent Hill 2, like Silent Hill 1 and 3 are directly connected, while 2 and 4 are also directly connected. So I'm honestly a little surprised that people who like 2 don't also like 4 a lot. <laughs> Ah. 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 Oh, come on. I guess I should be using my gun. I did bring all those bullets. Little bursts of speed run. That's a good way to put it. Basically, we check out each floor one by one. There are clothes lying here. Doesn't have an edgy protagonist. Henry's mostly just a regular dude with a little visible angst. Henry's biggest fear is what peop the people around him think of him. He's afraid to go out. So, you know, mood. All 
I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but no, this is all the same stuff it said last time. Right, and the hole. Let's go. Where the... Eileen, really? That quick? Wow. She already take that much damage? No, that's just the animation, I guess. babies. Yeah, I remember this being the most frustrating part of the game for me. All right, not all of these doors open. No, aim at the baby. No, not at the leeches. Oops, didn't need that extra shot. Oh well, I have so many bullets. Mostly because I didn't use firearms for like the first 80% of the game. Now we have to find the bloody shirt. I don't remember which room it's in. I think we have to drop down one of the holes on the third floor to get to it. not a fan of this bit. God, I didn't even remember what a pain in the ass this was. Alright, the lock the, the broken locks are still broken. try running this is a terrible idea we already know this we're gonna try running down here anyway oh look at how bloodied up she is already leaving her behind isn't an option Ugh, how frustrating Hasn't taken too much amp. Like before now, she's taken basically none. The problem is, in this area, she's... She takes a lot. Alright, which of these holes leads into a room? Alright, the north by northeast hole leads into a room with the bloody shirt. 
like you can hear her getting hit by something. So I'm assuming that Walter just comes out of nowhere and starts beating the crap out of her. Will she jump in the hole with me? Probably not. Nope. That leads down into the kitchen. That's not where I need to be. Shit. I guess let's check the... Oh, well, I guess that's the only place I can go. I should really get, like, a walkthrough for just for this area. a shirt with something written on it in wax. There we go. There's the prisoner's shirt. And we need to wash that somewhere. Whoops. Cut that out. All the public domain sounds used in this game are wild. Sure, I'll just use that right now, thanks. Here's some bullets. We're gonna be needing some of these soon. Ah, rude. Yeah, I really wish you could heal Eileen. That would be nice. That leads up through the center. I don't think there's any reason to do on this trip. At least not that I can think of. This goes down to the basement. Guess let's check out the basement real quick. Ugh. I'm like, oh, we're gonna need the gun soon. Tentacles everywhere. Tentacles are best dealt with using a baseball bat. good down here? I know the sort of obedience is in the room after washing off the shirt. I just don't remember where the hell to wash off the shirt. I already copied the plate message. Okay, good. It's locked. I guess we can head back to the apartment real quick. Oh, good. Keep getting the same hauntings.
Good. Bye bye. No additional hauntings out here. Oh, we have a letter though. I'm going to summarize everything that I've learned about Walter Sullivan so far. He was born right here in room 302 of South Ashfield Heights. His parents abandoned him soon afterwards and disappeared somewhere, leaving the baby alone. He was discovered and sent to St. Jerome's Hospital. He was adopted by Wish House, an orphanage in the forest near Silent Hill that's run by the secret Silent Hill religious cult. When he was six years old, someone from the cult showed him where he was born. Since then, he started to believe that room 302 itself, in other words, this room, was his mother. Every week, he traveled from the orphanage to South Ashfield, a pretty long trip for a kid his age. Sometimes he took the subway, sometimes the bus. I'm tired. My headache's already killing me. All right, more tomorrow. Huh, mood. All right, we can put the candle away. Maybe to keep her from attacking stuff, I can just unequip the chain. I don't think she punches stuff on her own. So maybe, maybe I'm the asshole. Regardless, we can't take her down the holes. Hey, look at that. Medical kit. Interesting that that door is locked now. Just odd little detail. We're at B1. Be able to go over here and climb higher? Or not? No, that's below. Or over here and go higher? Yeah, here we are. We're on floor one. Which I guess we should check out. Unlocked. More Bulat. Should have grabbed the silver bullet, probably, but I don't have the, uh, the sword. There's a receipt. There's a sloppily written note on the ground. Lucky, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around this building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but the next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel. That's that's just something that we missed on our first trip. Well. I'm being watched from the middle room. I was, I was way out of range of that. Come on. Oh, no, aim at the... Aim at... Auto-aim correctly. If you're gonna have auto-aim, fucking do it right.
Another candle. I'm sick of being watched. Ow, rude. Might as well. Eileen is still on the third floor, yeah. Alright, so... Still gotta figure out where to wash this dang shirt. Oh hey, there's another health drink. Damn it, I hear Walter again. Second floor, we've checked all the doors. All right, Eileen is right there. Good. This time she's not kneeled down having uh, been beaten by Walter. All right, so that was the problem. Was that I was leaving her in a place where Walter was spawned in. All right, so the next hole just leads to... Set the second floor. Oh no, do we have to fucking rotate the floors again? Ugh, fuck. Oh, this sucks. All right, so north by northwest, north by northeast, south by south. South by southeast and north by northwest are nothing. So yes, we have to rotate while the other holes in the second floor are blocked off. Oh, fuck. Fuck hell shit. Trying to figure out where we're even supposed to be trying to get. Because I have no clue right now. Well... So this is the third. I really have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I hate this. Can I just wash the shirt here? I can't use this here. I remember there's washing this. Do I have to do that at Henry's house? In the washing machine? That'd be something, huh? All right, let's just look this up.
All right, the prisoner's shirt, yada yada. Henry must first junk the shirt in his apartment's bathroom tub, which has inexplicably filled with blood early on. In oh yeah, I forgot about that. Must be read for Henry and his neighbor to escape water prison world. And then that gives you the clue to the puzzle. So, how the fuck did I figure that out <laughs> when I was 20? Oh my god. Alright, where's the nearest hole? Probably jumping down... Probably jumping down to the bottom floor again and leaving Eileen behind, huh? Alright, fine. Hey, got that juice going. Dumps down more holes than James Sunderland. Oh, this is the death chamber. You know, for kids. Well, that's a spoon. I thought it was a holy amulet. I guess maybe it is to someone. Ah! Rude. Rude. be giants has a shirt like that right now it's white and their name is in white dye with the idea that you tie dye it so the words are visible well that's cute all right wrong way Forgetting there's a door there, because all you can see when you come up is the wall. Back to the apartment. See, that's one of the things I always thought was interesting about this game as compared to the others, is the sh a lot of the shit you're seeing is is about Walter rather than Henry. While in the other games, it's all your protagonist's fears. That away. Put that away for now. I thought I heard a cat. I think it was outside, though, not in the game. Now, for some reason, you soaked the prisoner's shirt in the puddle of blood. You can see white letters rising to the top, like the cream. My room is on the second floor, and I had to drink something with black things in it. I hid the sword with the triangle handle under my bed. That guy, that one, took the basement key. Next time I'll stick this triangle sword into that pig and take the key. So we gotta figure out which room on the second floor we're trying to get to. The note from the bloody prisoner's shirt. Hooray! 
So that should have freed the ghost of Andrew. Y'all remember Andrew DeSalvo. If we had all the swords like we were supposed to. Wow, did I, I just, I just peached the mic there. That's wild. So if we had the, uh, all the swords like we were supposed to, I'd be able to take him out immediately. So we've got to get the next sword, which is somewhere on the second floor. Lots of fun. Oh, there's definitely a, a sound happening. It's a haunting. Well. Almost didn't catch that it was a haunting there. That fix it? Yep. I was being haunted by the ghost of a cat baby. Well, now I can see chat again. Mox, was that your ghost? Hope that was not Mox's ghost. Alright, so we need to go into the central climb to figure out which room we gotta put a room under underneath the hole so that we can drop down gotta look for something to drink with black stuff in it that's our clue ah shit here's andrew So we've got to pin him down. And then take his key. Also, we've just learned that he was one of the workers at the prison and not an innocent victim as he initially claimed. So, uh, I don't feel bad about him dying whatsoever. Oops, that's too far down. As I know, DeSalvo stays to the outer corridor there. I'm like 60% sure. As well, at least look through here, right? Oh, it's a hole. What a surprise.
All right, now I need to figure out which one of these rooms has black stuff in it. We know it's not this. We know it's not this one because we've fallen through there. Don't see anything to drink in any of these. Well, there's a dead thing. Uh huh. Well, that looks like cans of gunpowder. On the other hand, that door was already open. Hmm. Well, let's check the others. Yeah, it looks like it's the one that the uh, with the gunpowder or whatever it is. There's some pants. At first I thought I had inadvertently screwed you, but it turns out that Walter is just a tool. <laughs> Alright, so let's... If I can turn the rooms... Then I can make it easier to get to that one by going up to second floor and then I can exit out of it. So can I still turn the rooms? Let's find out. I want to get the south by southwest room to the north by northeast corner. Let's, uh, let's spin this pizza. The handles, okay, we can't even turn them now, so that's, uh, that's a non-issue. Are they all like that? Well, this one doesn't even have one now. Right, the bottom floor doesn't turn, I guess. Let's go up to the top real quick and find out if that one can be moved. Oh, hey. There's... a leather sap. It's a nightstick. Lead-weighted leather nightstick. Does not require much force to cause damage. Looks extremely painful. It does not have the range that the chain has. Which is why I keep her with the chain, generally. There we go. So let's head up to the second floor. Not get killed by Andy DeSalvo. Should also grab the silver bullet, I think. and put away the nightstick. Any more hauntings? No? All right.
there something else I was here for? I don't think there was. No, we're good? Alright. All right, now we've just got to... Head up to the second floor. Yeah, I know, you're shooting at me from off screen. I get it. You're very, you're a tough guy. You're very cool, Walter. It's okay. No, is this not the right? Oh, there it is. It's some kind of strange sword. All right. Now... Oh, right. I should have grabbed the uh, silver bullet to take down Andrew as quickly as possible. Let's do that. No more hauntings, I hope. Not in here. Oh, the door is not possessed. Silver bullets. Best used with pistol, as in it doesn't work with the revolver. And I believe we just exit through the basement after we take out Andrew. the water prison generator room key. Hooray! Now we've got to figure out how to get Eileen down to the basement. Which means running down this whole thing. I can probably take the sword back as I pass Andrew. So that's a plus at least. But we are going to have to go outside, which I guess means telling Eileen to not have her uh, weapon equipped. Went up too high. Okay, Walter, please stop now. It's very irritating. All right, here we go. There. 
now we basically have to to serpentine our way down the down the app outside oh this is gonna be annoying and i don't like it because there's no other way to get her downstairs Eileen, where are you going? Mm. Knock that off. They're shooting at me. Take a quick break here. And I think now we can take the basement route, maybe? No, we still have to go down another floor before we can do that, don't we? Which means walking all the way back around. Oh yeah, she's not doing so hot. Oh, he's just been standing there shooting in place for a while, huh? Now. He's just shooting at the at the mods. Ow. Alright, so I guess we'll take the sword so that we have something to pin down Dick with in uh, the final return to the apartment world. Um, we can get another sword there. Oh wait, never mind. He can follow us if we do that, can't he? And, uh... Had to check that real quick. He'll follow us to apartment world if we don't leave him pinned down. the real Andy. down the building was not as bad as I expected. Making the mistake of leaving her behind, like, on the outside at the beginning has definitely uh, increased our challenge level going forward. Come in. Good. Yeah, I should also, like, actually put her weapon back on now that I don't have to worry about her stopping to fight Walter. Some of the textures upscaled better than others. Looking at uh, her injuries, they don't they don't look so realistic anymore. Oh, 
Oh right, I remember this bullshit. Could this be that side of the clothes? What these guys? Nah. this room <laughs> this willy wonk ass bullshit here well there's a sink full of no it's a table with blood stain on it There's a mannequin, just, you know, dancing upside down, like mannequins do. Well, I need to get more ammo, so you're gonna have to wait in this terrifying world uh, for me for a moment. Cause uh, we ain't getting through this without a without a couple dozen more bullets. Oh come on! Right there. Ugh. Fine. Oh good, it's out here too. That's an actual oh good. Getting rid of one gets rid of the other as well. Go back in the wall. Did I not get it? Oh, I got it close enough. It's just not melting all that fast. We done? All right. Make sure it's gone in here too. Yep, all good. What an asshole, right? Just comes into my apartment, climbs through my wall. No respect. No respect, I tell you. All right, let's head back into a world. We go into building world again, or is it straight back to apartment world? Hey, Walter, I really like your long trail of blood on a spiral staircase in D minor. I'm pretty sure that that sound effect is in Killer7 Bad Road. Not leaving her alone if she's going to follow you through the door like four seconds later. 
Oh, there's Dick. Oh yeah, building world. I sure did, Bad Road. It's a diary. I want to go back to that time. Things were so good then. The day of my birthday. The cute cat in the pet store. All those balls in the basket. Playing pool was fun too. The door of time was wide open. It sounds like the intro to Chrono Cross. But when I see four things, I can't help but remember that time. Oh, sorry. Oh, hi. Just besides, he's gonna float down here. All right, come on, Eileen. This dick ain't gonna leave us alone. Just swinging his crowbar wildly. Bloody hell. This where I where I this is where I just was. Okay. Richard, knock it off. No. All right, Eileen, good. The door's shut tight. It won't open at all. Well, there has to be something to do. It looks a lot like downtown Ashfield. I guess I gotta... Oh, there's the buttons. So now we're at the bottom floor. Hmm. I'm not sure it does us any good. What's out here? Well, there's a health kit at least. So it's on the other side of the fence, because of course it is. Here's a candle. That's always helpful. Still not seeing a lot of holy medallions. I sure would like to find one right about now. What's down here, then? Not even... Oh, wait, wait, it is going to let me go down the ladder. Again, Eileen can't join me. So let's just quickly look for stuff. There's some broken stuff. Is this the opposite ladder? No, that's the ladder I went down originally. Oh, so this opposite ladder then. Let's see what's down that last ladder down there. Oh, whoops. Uh, I mean, I meant to do that. Oh, 
up that last ladder, I guess. Ah, Saint Medallion. No, it's a cue ball. I guess that's kind of like a Saint Medallion. What's a cue ball doing down here anyway? Oh, now I can get that, uh... Health kit. Uh-oh. Cutscene. It's Walter and Walter. Oh, Mom, stay out of my way. Who are you anyway? My name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. It's time to complete the 21 sacraments. But that's my name. And what are the 21 sacraments? Don't worry. You'll know soon enough. Well, let's go and see Mother. Let me go, that hurts! God damn, damn it. Just checking what's out here real quick. This is a weird place for a volleyball game. Oh, well, I can't use the ladder on the water tower. Alright, I think I better get back to Eileen is the problem. Saint Medallion. Ah! I'm very good at slamming face first into tentacles, not gonna lie. It might be my special talent. Alright, Eileen, let's try going to the top floor then. Tight. The elevator is not here. Oh. oh shit. Hi, Dick. these stairs. Those 
is there a way to heal her but it's temp there is a way to heal her but it's temporary and it needs a thing i did not realize that how is that done Do I need to drop a candle by her or something? Well, here's where the volleyball came from. It's filled with volleyballs. I'm a good Samaritan. Eight candles here? That's weird. I like that he finds the most mundane things weird. When you enter room 105, immediately you drop a candle. Oh, you drop a candle by her when you enter room 105? Okay. Basically, before she spoilers for the spoilers. That makes sense. All right, cool. So that makes the uh, spoilers easier then. So I will be sure to have a candle with me as I go into that spoiler. I don't need as many bullets here, so I can put that away, I can put that away, and now I have more space for inventory puzzle items. And this is actually a good spot to save for once. I'm not gonna fuck myself over. Alright, so drop the candle and then just let it burn out. Okay. That's good to know. I never knew that. Right. Now we got to figure out where these handles go for reasons. And then we've got to also, for reasons, figure out where this cue ball goes. We know that there is a bar with a pool table, though. Okay, this is where we just came up. Oh, sorry, Eileen. I just needed to run past you at full speed wielding a baseball bat real quick. You understand. We're saving in a red diary. Just got that. Yep. Might be ghosts here. Don't stop to fight the ghosts. Shit. This place was silent before. Mini. Oh, that's... with me here. Come on, this way. Bloody hell. Oh, I guess she was close enough. I thought I was going to have to go back through. I think I missed a medallion or two somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, good. It's upside down. And yes, this is as frustrating to control as it looks as I spin in circles. Daddy? Where's Daddy? Too many bullets. I guess there's worse problems to have. Oh my god, please, Henry. The doorknob is rusted shut and I can't get it to open. Alright, no other reason to be here then. No inventory puzzle items. Aunt Henry, please. Alright, so no reason to go th through the, uh the pet shop ever again with the invisible dogs and the visible ghost oh come on I made it all that for 10 bullets and I feel ripped off Come in. Did your pathing break again? Her pathing broke again. It does that on sharp corners. Yeah, she's it's real bad at the edges of these stairs. Alright, so now we can check out this door. Looks a little messy, huh? Are you... okay? Well, that's not a button I can press. Thing at the end of the hall. There's doors everywhere, jeez. Doors of peculiar size. I just saw a ghost going up those stairs, by the way. Just in case anyone thought I missed that. Mother fucker. the stairs, please. Thank you. Ow. 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 There's another one. And fuck.
fuck that guy. That guy's a dick. Am I supposed to put the candles on his birthday cake? This is a weird place for a stuffed animal. You put the cake candles on the birthday cake. <laughs> so now I gotta figure out where this stuffed animal goes. Why are we doing this? No fucking reason. Interestingly shaped keys and locks. I suppose, but they don't really unlock anything until you figured out where they all go. Okay. You can't just clip through the railing like that. You know that's bullshit. stairs. Oh, I probably have to put the cat's plushie in the... Getting tired. Yeah, I know. I probably have to put the cat plushie in the pet shop somewhere. this noob oh there's the last of the there's the wedge that's I think the last of the fucking uh, thingies the last of the golf clubs all right so I guess now we just go all the way back to the elevator now that we've been all the way in this direction I'm getting tired yeah, I know, because you're at stage two health. Which means, you know, halfway down. Wish you could fast travel between the various holes. That would make this a lot more pleasant. I think that's the last of the items we have to find here, is the cat plushie. I should probably... Don't leave me alone. 
There we go. Uh. Sure there's nothing else to, that I have to grab over here. Considering the circumstances, I guess we're doing pretty good, huh? Hey, hopeful dialogue. Isn't that nice? So yeah, I think the, that the uh, cat goes somewhere in the pet shop, but I'm not actually sure where. Well, this seems like a good time to take a break. There we go. It took me a few times to type it. So, there is a civil rights movement going on in the United States and around the world as black people and people of color of all sorts fight for equal treatment under the law, something that should not have to be fought for, but is tooth and nail. Here we have ways that you can help, or at least links to ways that you can help. Um, first, we've got the Bail Fund Network, which your donations will help keep protesters out of jail. We've got the Okra Project and the Black Trans Travel Fund. And your donations can help black trans and non-binary people with uh, food, supplies, and travel out of dangerous situations. And the Black Hills Legal Fund. Your donations will help the Lakota people take back legally their ancestral land, the Six Grandfathers, which was stolen by white people, renamed to Mount Rushmore on a whim and then had some white people's faces carved into it. Under the second command, which is kept up to date by my wife, there are more ways, petitions, fundraisers, etc. Up at the top here you have Hurricane Ida Relief because New Orleans was put underwater by a hurricane for the third time in recent memory. That's terrifying that this is something that should be preventable. But instead it falls to the people of New Orleans to clean up the wreckage again and again. Because the government will not step in to give the proper help and put up the proper infrastructure that the city needs. Oh, there's a petition to end Guantanamo, because guess what? You remember Guantanamo Bay? That still exists. And the People's Response Act, which is a way for basically redefining public safety as a public health issue and wants to fund community-based, community-centered approaches to safety rather than dumping all the money into the racist police departments. And down at the bottom there is a correspondence course. All you need for that is an email address and you can educate yourself. The ACLU is uh, doing this correspondence course called Racism in Policing. Just put in your email and you will get an email once a week for a month uh, just talking about what the police are and how they are intended to maintain the status quo and are very intentionally put in place to hurt people who are not white. All right, we're going to take a break. I'll be back in a few minutes. We have no stance on whether or not you block our ads. Do whatever self-care that you feel is necessary. 
and meet me back here soon. All right, I'm back. So let's let's get this going again. All right, so the cat does go in the pet store. Um, and the bar is down the path past the elevator. And then after we've done all of that, we can finally... We can finally get through here. We can finally exit this awful area. Um, let's do the bar first. Simply because I think there's a Saint Medallion on the way there. <gasps> and I can leave Eileen in the elevator briefly. Oh, this is the pet shop. Whoops. Also, I just left Eileen in that room alone by accident. I guess I could have just done the pet shop and left her alone then, huh? Here, come over here. Now, I'm going to take a dash for the pet shop. No, wrong way anyway. Fuck. Maybe if I bump into her real good? There we go. So now we're gonna run to the pet shop. to figure out where the cage is in here that this goes in. It's okay, Rispy. It's in the game. It's the video game. This cage. Here we are. Perfect. I need you to stay here, raises pistol. <laughs> Whoops. I was just trying to turn the camera around. Problem is, I can't do that without threatening someone. Camera control in this game? Not great! Alright, now we can head out here. Go back the elevator. Get attacked by Richard on the way. That's a good sound, right? A perfectly fine sound. Agreed. Oops. Dang it, Richard. Such a dick. All right. Wait, is she in here with me? Okay, good. We gotta head down through here. Go all the way to the end. Preferably without slamming into any tentacles. Oh, also Cynthia, I believe, appears here if you haven't pinned her. Instead of just this dude. Kind 
be on the lookout for stuff. Lots of cardboard boxes, but nothing interesting. Don't find cardboard boxes interesting? Oh right, the wheelchairs. Shit. I forgot about the wheelchairs. experience usually what's in a cardboard box is a cat so you're right there just garbage there's nothing useful here Wooden crates, nothing interesting about that. I like that Henry feels the need to comment on how uninteresting everything is. There's a memo here. The boss said we had to change our phone number because of all the complaints about the weird noises. Now we have to change the store sign on the roof. What a pain. By the way, the number is the last four digits of the new phone number. Not too smart if you ask me. There we are. I can hear the sound of a clock from somewhere. <laughs> Here, let's uh, enter the hole real quick. Right, no new haunting so far. It's a red scrap of paper. Continuing from yesterday, I'm going to summarize everything that I've learned about Walter Sullivan so far. Naturally, it was a long way for a kid his age to travel, but he made the trip every week by subway or bus. Unfortunately, someone else was living in this apartment, so he couldn't be reunited with his mother, room 302. For years, he continued to come here almost like he was possessed just to peek into the apartment. Eventually, the tenants began to complain and treat him badly when they saw him hanging around. Walter started to fear the tenants and see them as obstacles preventing him from seeing his mother. As the years passed and Walter matured, he began to be more and more influenced by the teachings of the cult. Furthermore, his obsession with his mother and his feelings of resentment towards the outer world became even deeper. Walter became preoccupied with one particular tract from the cult's Bible, the Descent of the Holy Mother, the 21 Sacraments. By the 21 Sacraments, the Holy Mother shall appear in the countries of the world and shall bring salvation to the sinful ones. After Walter left Wish House, he moved to Pleasant River, a town neighboring Silent Hill. For a while, he lived the life of a normal student, but he was still filled with bitterness and resentment toward the rest of the world. Several years later, he launched his plan there, the 21 Murders, July 29. So hey, uh, that sucks, huh? <laughs> Thank you.
I remember these monkey guys, this new version of them is a huge pain in the ass. And I didn't pick up the stun gun at any point. So this is going to be fun. Stun gun knocks him out instantly. Oh hell, let's grab another stack of bullets just in case. At least refill this stack of bullets. And we're finally running low. All right, never mind. I'm remembering something wrong, clearly. Oh yeah, we never actually checked what the new number was. Fuck. Oh well, at least that guy's dead now. Thirty-seven fifty. That's what it was before, though. Let's try calling it five 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 thirty-seven fifty. The phone number you are trying to reach. Is no longer in service. The new number is oh, okay. five 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 four eight nine zero. Five 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 four eight nine zero. So that's our code is forty eight ninety. Let's dial it and see what happens. Oh, the same horrible sounds. I'm glad changing their phone number worked. All right, 4890. That's open. Anything else good in here? Jazz. There's jazz. That's pretty good.
clearly should have grabbed a healing item while I was back at the apport apportment? Apartment. Is this the right way? I feel like I should be going, like, up. Where's my healing item? Problem is I need to figure out how to get Eileen here. all the way back upstairs. Henry is in great shape. He doesn't even slow down dashing upstairs. enemies having appeared. Cut that out. from the wheelchairs, I guess. Shit. Just get all the way back to Eileen and figure out how to get her. Do I guess the clock room? that out. I can tell this is a game. No one is wheezing after a billion flights in succession. Yep. Isn't Eileen supposed to be here? Oh, I went up the wrong elevator. Oh, go, go down the ladder. There she is. Okay, so... Anyone remember how to get to the clock room? I don't think most buildings go down this deep. Oh, 
Also, you'll note that we are in the basement at all times. Trying to just look this up so I'm not wandering around. A lot of ghosts floating in from above. Dual Walter. Okay, it says to go back to Eileen, and then we gotta get to the clock room. Bloody hell. Just trying to figure out how to get to the clock room. Take the flight to the pet store. Dash to the left. Grab Eileen. Take the elevator to the very top. Return to the pet store and carefully get around the ghost to the northern exit. All right, so we are going back through the dang pet store again. All right, well, that's something. At least we know where we're going. Sporting Good Shop is at the end of those stairs. Get out of here, Richard. No one wants you around. You're a real piece of shit. Yeah, cry all you want. Yeah, this clock's just going to keep dinging until we uh, go through that door. for anyone who already found the sound design uncomfortable. All right, we're here now. We're gonna save game. We are gonna save video game now that we're here. Wait, where's the haunting? What's haunted? There's a haunt. Oh, the pictures are blurry, I guess. Okay. I can't even tell what's wrong, but apparently something is. Lamp? Can anyone tell me what is possessed here?
Oh, it's the chair. It's possessed by blood. That took me way too long to figure out. I'm just so used to everything being covered in blood already in this game. There we go. Now I guess we gotta take a mad fucking dash. An angry dash. Look at this guy. He shits in bloods. Well, back to the ringing, 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 doctor. Alright, pet shop. So we're going through the pet shop. Little shop. Little shop of horrors. Oh, 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 no. Feed me, Henry. Just gotta get through here real quick. Thank you, Eileen. I appreciate your cooperation at this time. right side up now. locks in this place like they don't care about upkeep at all that door is just open and it leads to nothing well that was fun i liked that i like that a lot Was that a door in the middle of the stairs? It sure was. As far as I know, until we reach the bottom, all of these are closed. Ah, shit, shit. No, let me pass. Thank you. Thanks, Eileen. I appreciate you. Here he is. He's got a weapon. See, if I had the stun gun, I could just zap him once and he'd drop.
I sidestep right into the attack. Now you stop that. All right. No problem. No problem at all. Anything else in here? Richard. Eileen? Really? Oh, this sucks. I'm so glad it's unlocked. Yes, all that just to get around to here. Damn it. Chair hell time. We got very, very lucky with that pattern. Everything that was here is dead, so I think we're good to just walk to the bottom. Okay. 
Finally. Oh, good. Ghost. Well, <laughs> oh, my shit. Oh, that actually caught me off guard a bit. All right, let's uh, let's try that again. Now, we actually have to kill this thing. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't remember which one's the real one. Okay. And I do not have enough bullets to kill one. That might be it. didn't even come down. Wow, I did not remember this boss fight existing. Nor do I know how to tell which one's real. for a hundred bits right <laughs> oh shit I mean I'm killing them but obviously I'm not killing the correct one I don't know when we last saved it wasn't that long ago I'm gonna try and figure find out how to tell which is the real one. Well, thank you for another hundred bits, Freya. So this guide I'm looking at says use your melee weapon to figure out which is the real one. Oh, okay. You hit it with a weapon. And then if they all freak out, then it's the real one. Uh, I'm just gonna die here, though, so this is fine. Okay, that one's not real. Ow. This is a terrible boss fight, I'm just saying. I don't think it's the same one every time, though. 
Fuck. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, come on. as fast as you can, really. Oops, I think I just bashed her to death. Well, she was standing right there. I couldn't st I couldn't avoid hitting her. Can I actually hit her? Just a sec, my dogs are freaking out. Nothing out here, chill. Are you scared because of the weird sounds from the game? Are my dogs more afraid of horror movies than I am? Ah, well, this seems like, honestly, a good point to call it. Rather than continuing from this point, we'll just have a short jaunt back down here next time. I hope. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Gonna go over next week's schedule real quick. Tomorrow, someone on the Xenon Fiber channel will be playing Earthbound. Sunday is our wild card stream. Monday, Andy will be start or will be continuing framed on his channel Andymonium at 6 p.m. Central. And then back here at the normal time, Christy will be starting on something new. And I think she told me, and I don't remember what it was. Uh, but anyway, Tuesday, Annie will be starting something new, and I know I don't know what that is. Wednesday at 7 Central, Bad Road will be starting on Soul Reaver 2, and then Sue will be continuing Dark Souls. Uh, Thursday, Alice will be getting back to Legend of Mana, and Friday, I'll be playing more Silent Hill 4, Mark Out and Eternal. Okay, card games. It's going to be a, a card game night, which is a lot of fun. And Mark Out looks really interesting. And by that, I mean it looks like it plays really interesting. And it sure looks interesting, huh? Uh, what I'm saying is that mechanically it looks fascinating from what I've seen. And the presentation is, well, not good. All right. YouTube channel. Check that shit out, youtube.truck.community. Thousands of hours of VODs to go and binge. Uh, you will probably never be able to watch all of them, but that's okay. That's okay. There's a, there's a lot there. Good, it's good stuff. You need something to binge. And finally, do check out our fundraiser. We, uh, we put the fun in fundraiser. What does that mean? What does that even mean? But uh, please spread that link around. Uh, we're on payment plan, so it's not as urgent that we get money right now. But hopefully money will keep coming in through that so we can stay on top of that. We'll be uh, talking about it more at the starts of the months. More so than uh, at, the, at the ends and the middles. All right.
That's it. That's it from me. It's a tired day. It's a very tired day today. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for coming.